Got one of these, but don't want to use these guys. Continue watching and the knowledge shall be yours. Welcome everybody today. As uh, seen that little intro video, we will be working with a DS3 gamepad today. Now, those that do know, know that I will be using Motion Joy. For those that don't know, this is an excellent driver set and an application that works beautifully with the DualShock 3. I mean, beautifully. I haven't had any in any kind of input lag, any kind of issues with the driver itself. Now, they have already a, a list of specified Bluetooth adapters that work with these drivers, but you can force it to work with your Bluetooth adapter. Of course, this is at your own risk, but it won't do anything harmful. Now, the reason being we're going to be forcing it to use a Bluetooth adapter is, say, you don't want to order on the internet and wait, say, the three to seven days or longer for a Bluetooth adapter, and say you go to a brick and mortar store. This is just an example. Now, in the brick and mortar store, 99% of the time you're going to buy a Targus adapter. That's a Broadcom adapter. Now, the chip that's in that Bluetooth adapter is one that is supported. That's the funny thing. It's just the stack it uses with Windows that for some reason the Motion Joy doesn't like. Now, we're going to show you how to get it to work with it. First off, we're going to go to your system properties, device manager, under Bluetooth radios. Now, if you notice, I'm using the Windows stack. Make sure you are using the Windows stack. If you're using another kind of stack, like say the Toshiba one, which will work with the Targus adapter after finagling it and forcing it as well in the same manner that I'm going to show you. But I've had issues getting to work with the Toshiba stack, so I uninstalled it, went back to the Windows stack, and everything was peachy. That's besides the point here. We'll talk about it in some other future video probably. Now, just right click on that guy, go into properties, click on details and go to your hardware IDs. Now you want to select the second guy, the second vendor ID and product ID. Copy it. Then you can cancel out of that and close these windows. And we're going to open up Notepad. In Notepad, you want to go under your program files if you're on 64-bit. Well, if you're 64-bit or 32-bit, it'll be under the same folder because Motion Joy detects whether you're on 64-bit or 32-bit. I'm on 64-bit, so I have my 64-bit version installed. It's going to be under Motion Joy DS3 drivers. Now you want to make sure all files are visible, and you want to open up this INF, MIJX input. Now when you have this opened up, you want to scroll all the way down to MotionJoy.ntamd64 and 6.0. So it's a Vista and 7 driver, it works beautifully. Now when you're going to see Bluetooth dongle, you want to scroll all the way down to that list. Now what you want to do is copy letter for letter, word for word, the previous line where it says mij.deviceName, percentage, cc, install, USB, well, and then you copy your vendor ID and your product ID. Now you're going to do this twice in here because there's two instances this shows up. In the 6.0 and then the standard one. Now you're going to copy in both places. Now I've already had this in here. So as you can see, I already have my driver there. Now you're going to save that, and if it complains, like this, I'll show you exactly what to do. Because this is an administrative file, and for some reason the ownership is not you. We're just going to browse to that folder under the Motion Joy folder. We're going to right click on this guy, and I have take ownership installed in my registry, so we could run that. Then you should be able to save this guy. No problem. There we go. See? I saved it. Good to go. We closed everything. Now when you're in your DS3 tool opens up, which is the Motion Joy Gamepad Tool program, click on Driver Manager. You should see that it detects your Bluetooth adapter. You want to check that. You click Load Driver. You might get a you know unsigned driver warning. I will show you guys later in another video how to force Windows to install you know unsigned drivers. It's a very easy process, but we're not going to show that here. Now, once it's installed, I'll tell you all this stuff here. You know, it's installing drivers. Blah blah blah. Good to go. You'll see a little check mark there. Happiness. Click Bluetooth pair. 
you can see that it says your Bluetooth adapter there. Next up, we plug in our DualShock 3 controller. Give it a second to show up here. And there you have it. Now you'll see Bluetooth adapter and your DualShock 3 controller together. All you have to do is click Pair Now. You give it a second. And if you unplug your controller, you should give it a second. And if you go under Profiles, there it is. DualShock 3 6 axis. In parentheses, Bluetooth. That means it's enabled in Bluetooth now. And you can enjoy wireless gaming on the PC for almost nothing. Because I know, I know for a fact that the Xbox 360, you can get a wired controller. It works pretty damn good. But say you already have a DualShock 3 lying around, you don't want to spend the extra money because you have a Bluetooth adapter in your laptop or a Bluetooth adapter for your PC. And you just want to save some money. This is a very good way to go. Because it works. And you can emulate your 360 controller almost perfectly with the X input that's in this. I have never had an issue with this yet. I've played all my Windows for Live games that have a 360 controller option only. Or for example, Skyrim. Skyrim has only a 360 controller option. It will not work with a PlayStation 3 gamepad for some reason. It just doesn't want to detect it. But when I go to 360 controller, happiness. That's pretty much it to the DualShock 3 with Bluetooth. I mean, check this out. Playing freaking Lords of Thunder. Yes. Excellent. All right, everybody. Do take this knowledge and enjoy yourselves and... If anything, you guys could email me, max at techsyndicate.com. Any questions at all, anything related to this video or not related to this video, go ahead and email me. Thank you guys. Have a good day.